One more thing uh, we keep getting asked is everyone usually when people are we meet up with people on the trails they keep asking us this one question you know like how do I make my bike into a trail bike or what's the difference and the biggest problem is people end up taking a XC setup bike onto the trails and you end up crashing head first and you break your face and your jaw and it's not cool. So a, a few points that you can do to actually turn your hardtail bike into a trail bike you know, make it work a little bit. But I'll just give you a basic idea on the geometry so then later you guys can kind of uh, uh, play around with it. See the first thing about, uh, th this is an Enduro bike. So as you can see, the, it's got uh, a good amount of travel. The entire frame is a bit more stretched out than a uh, XC bike. You have, uh, like the handlebars are a lot wider because it gives you more stability. And this is a bit higher because, uh, sorry, it's not as long. So I think you changed the stem, right? Yeah, so my stem was uh, about a 90 yeah. meter, 90 mm millimeter one. I put the so, 5 mm one. Okay, so usually the stems are all the way out to here. I'm not giving you the specifications because I'm not a bike geek. I'm, I'm going to do a terrible job and mess it up. But I'll just give you an idea. Normally the the um, the stem comes all the way up to here because that helps you climb. Because when you have a longer stem, you can put more pressure on the front wheel while climbing and keep it stable and move up. So usually XC bikes have, uh, the cockpit will have a smaller handlebar, longer stem, and it will be a bit lower. So you're not going to get the handlebars this high, it'll be a tad bit lower because you can put more weight over here. Uh, the frame as well, this gets a bit higher. The bike ends up being a tad bit higher than here yeah, because it's more of a climbing than descending. And um, that's some of the, the basic bits. So if you want to use your XC bike to do a bunch of descents, and you want to go down and not hurt yourself, try uh, switching a few things. One, like what he's done, change a stem, make it a smaller stem, so you bring the weight forward. The idea of that is, if you have a smaller stem, you can move your butt behind when you're going down. So if you have your weight too much in front when you're going down a hill, you're going to fall. Because as soon as you touch your rock in front, it's going to jam, and you're not going to have any space to kind of move around. When your weight's at the back, even if this jams, you can kind of, you know, move around a bit and get out of there. The second thing that you can do is get bigger handlebars. A tad bit, it doesn't have to be massive. You measure your handlebars, generally how you do a push-up. So what's your comfortable push-up stance is where how wide your handlebars should be. It's going to be a little bit difficult to put that over here on an exit but you can experiment and see as much as you want. Those two are kind of like the, I, at least I feel, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel that those two are kind of the simplest add-ons that you can get and just watch your kind of what wheels you're using as well i'm talking about sorry what tires you're using because most xc bikes come with such small treads it's not going to dig in into the ground like for example uh, if you see on this bike if you're heading down the trail and you're filled with rocks you're not going to get any grip and you're going to end up skidding falling and stuff so uh, those three bits and lastly i would recommend get a good set of pedals Pedals and shoes are your contact points. The shoes, handlebars with your arms are the two contact points where you're going to always be touching onto the bike. So just make sure that you have pedals with a good amount of uh, uh, screws sticking out. Uh, it's gonna be horrible when they get into your shin. <laughs> it's terrible and it takes off your skin. But if you have good shoes, it locks in so nicely, it gives you a lot of grip and keeps it in place. So these are the three things I would, the four things that I would invest in if you have a normal bike and you don't have money to actually get a very expensive bike. Change your uh, handlebars, change your stem, get some good, good tires that dig in and uh, good pedals. That's about it. I think that should be enough for you guys to you know, progress on. If you have the money later, get a drop of course. <laughs> saves your life, you know, saves your life. Initially, you might get hit in the nuts practicing with it, but <laughs> it's okay, you know, it works out. So, I think that's about it. For adventures, treks, cycling videos, and running marathons, subscribe to Udigraphy.